Hello and welcome to Mobile Testing YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to resolve this error which is unable to launch WebDriver agent because of Xcode build failure. Xcode build failed with code 65. So this is the error which we are going to solve. Uh, so I am trying to run the this simple iOS test in a real iPhone device. You can see the iPhone device connected in the right uh, and uh, with the test app installed so I'm going to so when I try to run this uh, I'm seeing this error so I'll, I'll give you a quick fix to resolve this error but uh, there is one clean fix which I'll try to make another video on it let's start fixing the error so whenever you try to run the test case on a real device uh, so a WebDriver agent app will be installed in the device uh, but in this case it is causing this error 65 so the WebDriver agent app will be so the app this WebDriver agent runner app will be installed from this directory uh, since this is not built properly it is causing the error so I'll share this uh, path in the video URL. Uh, you can make use of it. Let us open the directory. So in the command for that is open space dot. When you give that, you will see the WebDriver agent folder opening up. So let us double click on the Xcode project. Once you do that, uh, you should wait for a few seconds. Yeah, so it says the build failed, and uh, the reason for that is. So let us fix this errors one by one. Um, when you click on the WebDriver agent library and uh, switch to general tab. So do the same for all the applications. Um, once you do that, first thing you have to fix is like you have to select the team name. Set the proper team name for all the applications. So to add uh, your uh, developer account to Xcode, what you have to do is click on Xcode, then preferences, then here you have to uh, click on the plus sign and uh, choose the Apple ID and uh, login with that. So yeah, so once we do that, the next thing we, we should do is click on build settings and uh, search for this product bundle identifier you can see uh, so do the same for everything so once you do that uh, you can see for everything the product bundle identifier is com.facebook.webdriveragentlib so we should edit this field to something else I'm going to give it as Com dot Android iOS testing dot web driver agent runner. You can make this test text anything. Uh, you should, but it shouldn't be com dot Facebook dot web driver agent lib. Other than that, you can give anything. Just change this one for all the applications instead over here. Yeah. Once you do that, you are good to go. What you should do is select the iPhone in top left corner 
and then click on the run button now it still says the build failed let us see what is the reason for that okay so since I have already used it in the past it's not allowing me to do so let me change it to something uh, different so since I have already used it in the past it is not allowing me to do the same uh, let me change this to Android testing 1 and the same for all It's just enough if you do it for a web driver agent app but uh, it is always better to do it for everything so that you stay on the same uh, path so let me click on the run button again yeah it says build succeeded and uh, yeah now we are good to go with the test cases let us come back to the PyCharm and try to run this again right click run keep uh, noting the iPhone screen on the right yeah you can see the web driver agent app got installed and uh, yeah the test case started running first test case passed second test case is running and uh, you can see both the test cases passed uh, one more issue which comes over here is like at times after you fix the error and try to run the test cases the web driver agent app will be installed and uh, it will get deleted automatically uh, that's because after you install a new app you should first uh, approve the credentials so which I mean, uh, let me show that so in the general tab under profile and device management you should go here click on this guy and uh, click on the trust button since I have already done it uh, this both the test app and web driver agent app open successfully but if you haven't done it in the past um, what you should do is you should run the test case immediately disconnect the cable with the web driver agent app still in the device then go to settings and uh, trust the developer yeah that's it if you do that uh, all your test cases will be passing okay that's it thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel